Hi guys, um, that's it here. Budgie or budget camper, whatever you want to call us. Um, thought I'd do this quick video. Got a video, another video to do, a lot of editing to do, but um, I've quick update on what's going to happen uh, next week. I'm going in for an operation, got a device moves, moved out my chest. Um, and that so i'm going to be off work for a week so i've worked some overtime that's why i haven't had time to do things um i'm hoping thursday or friday i'll be fit enough to have a quick uh, wild camp up on the north coast somewhere um using my new kit um, i'm not going to use my tent i want to try something else i've got myself a poncho liner um it's an american thing um american uh, army thing it's it all rave about it over there i've never seen a uk uh, review on it um uh, i'm just what i'm doing now is i'm just showing you you know what it looks like i haven't tried it out just getting it today so let's hopefully it'll be good enough um the reason why I'm going down the slide to get this type of stuff is I want to use I want to use me molly there's me molly um I want to use that a lot um and obviously you've seen where I can get a me tent onto the bottom strapped onto the bottom no problem so I thought I'd you know make everything lighter use me tent when it's say like pouring rain or when in the summer use this system I'm going to use um, <clears throat> my molly comes packed in that, that size there uh, that size there is roughly about say about 15 inches um, there um, it's a ripstop material it's wrapped up at the minute I know um, and what that does it goes it goes on the inside of this poncho um, so I'm gonna set it up and what I'm gonna do is um, everybody's getting the check roll mat so what I'm gonna do is I've got them two to put together and inside here is a liner um, like a sleeping bag liner so I'm gonna like put put all that together bit like the Dutch, uh, sorry, the Czech uh, bed roll. Um, but the difference is I'm going to put um, an inflatable mattress in and I'm going to put the um, reflective uh, thing in to give that a bit more protective on the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I've got a punch, another punch over there. It's the old English um, punch over. And then I've got a top and I've got some more tent poles. So I'm like going to try different designs, see what I can do with that. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this. Um, I'm going to do stages of like setting this up, this kit up. And let you see what I'm going to do with it. And um, then I'll get back to you. Okay, see you in a bit. Right guys, uh, this is the... Uh, liner here, lined up there. Um, it's a ripstop material, polyester. Uh, it's like quilted and stuff like that. It says it's waterproof and st stuff like that. It can be machine washable. Um, and it says it's very warm. Uh, like I said, there's nobody in England's done a review on it. I think I'm the first. So it's nice, it feels comfortable and it feels warm. Um, so, you know, I've been looking at different uh, things, like, you know, um, and again, guys, I've gone off the budget uh, theme. Um, this cost um, 22 quid. Uh, that's posted included 
Um, I know they go for a lot more if you get them on eBay because they come from America. <clears throat> but I use Amazon. Um, we can get them for 22 quid. If you go on eBay, you talk and including posting and packaging, you're talking about 50, 60 quid. And uh, no, I didn't fancy paying that price. So that's what I did. Um, so that, that's the liner. Now I'm going to put it into my poncho uh, over there. So I'll, I'll bring it back um, when I've done the next bit. So see you in a bit. Right guys, um, I've attached the liner to the poncho now. Um, I haven't did a bit where everybody else does. And that's like showing you tying it up. Simple thing is, you got some ties on there, and um, you tie them into the grommets. The only thing about this poncho, unlike this poncho, it hasn't got the grommets in the corners when you do it lengthways, like that. Um, I don't know why. Um, I think I thought it might be a good idea, so what I might do is add my own uh, grommets and then um, there's that attached that one also to make a another like a tent shape thing. Um, I'm not sure why they haven't done it, bit disappointed like, but I make a ridge line, but I don't want to do that because it'll spoil it so. Anyway, let's get on to the main thing. I'm not sure if the Yanks call uh, the liner is a whoopee, a whoopee uh, cover or something like that. Um, but I know it's a poncho liner in the UK. It's easier. And it doesn't sound so stupid. Um, so, let's right, see, so there's attached. My next uh, thing to do is make it comfortable and I'm going to stick my um, inflatable mat and then the silver like the foil layer liner in to make it uh, more heat gives more warmth and stuff like that right I'll give you I'll bring it back in a minute when I've done that Okay lads, lasses, uh, right, you've seen, I've put that together now. Now I've put the inflatable mattress in, and then the file on top. And then what I've do is just fold it back and tie, tie up again. Um, simply, just the quick thing, try to do it one hand. Simply just... Simply just thread it through there and tie it up. You know how it goes, lads. Um, so the next thing to do now is um, put my liner. I've got a dry bag. I've put my liner in a dry bag so then it's dry all the time. It'll piss us down, but I don't think so. Bear with us. Things you gotta do when you're uh, recording. And there's my liner. And all I'm gonna do with this liner is just stick it inside, and that'll be my bed for the night. When I'm out. Um, so I think it's a good bit of kit, like a um, real pad. It feels warm. Oh, to make a sleeping bag. I've missed a bit out, lads. Sorry. Lasses as well. Um, all you do is simply press stud. See what I mean? It's a plum chew doing it. Um, but just as it, just of it is, just press stud it to get in. There's a sleeping bag. So, like I say, I'll either be using this poncho as a cover or the top 
Um, I've got the pause to use either, um, either well, whatever I want to do with it. Um, so, but that's it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack it up and put in my molly over there and uh, show you how it all goes in my molly. But um, thanks uh, for watching this bit. I'll bring it back in a bit. Right lads, um, that's us, I've brought you back like the next day f from the other recording. Um, my molly pack's all packed away now. Um, like all the stuff that I had out last night, my bedding and that. There's my inflatable mattress. There's my ground sheet and uh, another poncho for shelter. And inside, I'll get round the inside for you. Try and do everything on zip. Um, inside is my file uh, mattress thing. Um, it's closing that one. Uh, sleeping bag liner. Poncho liner. Poncho there. So all that fits in there nicely. <laughs> Um, in here, this next pouch. Uh, would be like um, water, food, and stuff like that. Um, in here, be bits and bobs and bits and bobs in that one. And then in my side pouch, will be like uh, my cook sets, like me cooking kit. Be going in there so. That's it lads, uh, just looking forward to my next wild camp, um, I'm not sure where that will be, I'm not sure if it will be a wood one or up on the top, so I'm not sure yet, um, I'm not sure if I'll be out Saturday coming or what, um, find out, um, I'll have ask around, see who wants to do what. I like, um, no, it's like, you know, trying to do this and trying to do that. Work getting in the way, and I'm on the sick next week. Uh, going for my operation on Monday. So, that's a big thing that's starting to like. I know it's a minor operation, but I don't like operations. It's just bringing back memories, that's all. So. Yeah, I shouldn't get like this, but it's horrible, you know. People don't understand what I'm going through, and it's just horrible to go through it again. Bring back memories. Anyway, get off that subject. So anyway, I'll see what I'm doing. I'll work at me, work it out um, t tonight when I come in from work, and that. So. Right, thanks for watching. Um, I hope I haven't waffled on too much. I've tried not to waffle on too much and stuff like that. So, again, thanks for watching. And I'll get this all put away ready. Thanks very much. See you later, guys. Bye.